yawning ghost. I did. A little boo. You know. Moment. I thought I could get into this episode without, without yawn. yawning. Yeah. I was like, we're just gonna no. roll. And then I started yawning. It's so. every single time we go to do our little three, two, one moment that you just yawn. Yeah. You let it out and then I have to yawn. And I'm feeling the yawn, but I'm gonna reject it because <laughs> I'm strong like that. You guys, uh, all the listeners are getting a behind the scenes right now in this very moment that Me I too, always yes. like yeah. yawn beforehand. Yeah. It's very your, obnoxiously it's nice too. Yeah. Even worse than what Logan just did. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. But yeah. You got it now. You think I'm obnoxious on the podcast? Oh, honey. <laughs> Behind the scenes, it's so Behind much worse. Behind the scenes, it's worse. <laughs> it's way worse. Yeah. But now Crazy. you're stuck here. Yeah. Thanks. Logan Lamaster. Tiffany Walker slash Volk. <laughs> Welcome to the Mystery Files. Yay. We're back. We're ready to party. For episode 15 of season 7. Hey, heck yeah. We're getting close to the end of the season. Is this what we call the penultimate? Is that a pen? Or is that yes, next that, week? No, that's the penultimate. Penultimate. I always use that phrase Second wrong, to last. So. Second to last. Yeah. Second to last. And then we'll be, be beginning the summer tapes. Yeah. Yeehaw. So, for everyone who doesn't know, the summer tapes is basically, it's the same exact show. Yeah. <laughs> but it's summer themed. It's in the summertime. And we try to do summer cases yeah. or at least ca- try. I think we did last year. We stayed pretty on par. I think so. And if we, we don't, it's just, we give, we give radiating warmth vibes. Yes, we do. We try. It's little yeah. things. No, exactly. But also, um, all the cases are basically in the summer because we're presenting them in the summer. So. Exactly. So it's the summer tapes. It's a fun little time. Exactly. So we can't wait to show that marketing plan with you guys. Heck yeah, we're excited. So if you want to see any of that, you can check us out on the Mystery Files podcast on TikTok. On the Instagram. At what? At the Mystery Files underscore. 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 Did you see there's a TikTok page called Mr. Files? No. There's there's a TikTok page called Mr. Files. Files. And I was like, that's a you clever like, way to you? try to take our day. <laughs> I thought it was like, do you know how on the um, Mystery Incorporated, there's Mr. E? Mr. E. Mr. E, yeah. Mr. E's the guy. Mm-hmm. So there could be someone impersonating us calling themselves Mr. E. Files. Oh, that should be like our pen name Aww. when we send uh, yeah. um, ransom letters to people. Oh, now they're going to know who it is. Yeah. Forget all of this now. Forget all of this. You Forget didn't all of this now. Thing. You don't know what the mystery e files is. <laughs> but yeah. Um. So. Hmm. I don't think you actually know how to read. Uh, <laughs> pardon you. What? What? I just think I think today's episode of the mystery files is going to be. I think you don't actually know how to read. Like you say, you read a lot of books. Yeah. But I feel like when you're like doing it, especially when we live together, you're just like. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm reading a book right now. I don't think you know how to read. What are you... What? Why? You're like Leah Michelle. Don't you even try to put <laughs> that near me. When was the last time you read a book? Never. What's your Goodreads look like? Your Goodreads is Diddly Squad. What is a Goodreads? Exactly. What is exactly. a Goodreads? Exactly. A Goodreads, Percy Jackson, it. and the Olympians. <laughs> That's all you've read. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty go much. Get a, go get a library. Get a Kindle. Come on a now. Kindle? A I'm Kindle? I'm poor. Well, we got ours on sale. You're not defending yourself, though. Go to a library. Get a library card. It's free. Yeah. Yeah, you're, there's uh, no you're projecting. excuse. You're, you're, like, projecting back on to be and not um, defending yourself. Look at yourself. my books beside me. But do you actually read them, though? Like, yes. are they decoration? I don't know. Well, they're partially decoration, but I didn't read all of those in that pile right mm-hmm. there. The last book I read, well, I read one that was a silly little YA book called Ghosts. Very mm-hmm. sad about a sister dying. But the last book I read before that was called Insomnia. And that mm. was like a psychological horror vibe. You had a horror book club and it like melted away. Well, what happened there? I got bored. I don't bored know. Bored or you were well, worried people would catch on? No, because I literally would <laughs> read the book at the beginning of the month and then I had to wait for everyone else to catch up. And then I had mm. to talk about it a month after I read already so many books after that. And I was like, well, it's simply not worth it. If someone wants to come in person and read a book at my pace, then we'll be good. Are they listening right now? Yeah. Actually, I think they're I, hearing I, this right I think now. I they're just that. Like, dang. I think I honestly <laughs> deleted the Facebook page. But <laughs> if you want to be in a real book club, hit me yeah. up. Yeah, like how you delete your socials. <laughs> yeah, I deleted <laughs> my socials. Wink. Wink. But yeah, why are you saying I can't read? I just felt like fighting. I thought it was like a big thing that was gonna turn around into like no. the meaning of your case. Nope, not at all. You just wanted all. to get me fired up no. before we start because I'm no, fired yeah. up. Yeah, literally. Now every time I say something, you're just gonna be like, "Well, actually, well, actually, actually, at least I can read." <laughs> How many books have you read this year? Zero. How many have I read? Mm. Can the mystery files count as um, reading books? That's reading a case. I think I've read fourteen that's books the same this year thing. so far. Fourteen or fifteen books so far this year. 
15 books. Go on That's my... how many episodes of the Mystery Files we have now of yeah, this season. Go on my Goodreads. Hmm. That, that's not a real thing. You're making good reads up. I'm literally not. It's yeah. like uh, it's all about podcasting now. No one reads. <laughs> you don't read. That yeah, like yeah. a lot of people who are smart. You know what I did read? One, I don't know what I did read, Logan. What last week's case? Remember what last week's case was? It's right here. <laughs> the <laughs> the Flannan Lighthouse, Lighthouse disappearances. disappearances. I read all about that, and then I made a whole case about it. So. <laughs> or did you <laughs> watch a bunch of YouTube videos? Didn't you say you were inspired by? Someone for that one? By Ryan and Shane. Oh, great. I'll say the names. <laughs> I'll say it. No, I just felt like Friday. Yeah. I like literally like You're on Friday that. just completely was telling Danielle. I just, we were just sitting quietly mm-hmm. in the house and I went, I don't think Tiffany knows how to read. And she was like, what? <laughs> and I was like defending my Stop case of why it. I don't think you know how to read. That's just rude. <laughs> and I, I gave her a book recommendation too. She better just, not be on your side. You're just you're so cute when you read like a book. You're just like, hmm, it's a book. <laughs> How is that a bad thing? It's not bad, but I'm just like, is this I'm, true? I'm reading a book. You're being yes. cutesy right now. Are you trying to make me feel dumb? A little bit of bull. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault you can't read. Well, maybe you're Lee Michelle. Prove it. Prove it to us. The 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 tor 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 and the. K, it, it, uh. that was memorized it was it was <laughs> i mean it's not even on the screen i made it up if you <laughs> <laughs> improv um but i am gonna yeah. prove that i can read with this week's case are you ready <gasps> i'm excited? literally so excited wait i'll tap up my drink down so i can jump for you soon oh yes oh my okay. gosh okay so okay okay yeah, ah yeah, okay yeah, ready yeah, yeah drum roll please this week on the mystery files we'll be covering the case of the Secrets of the Appalachian Trail. Dun, dun, dun. This is perfect because I know none of the secrets of the Appalachian Trail. None of them? Not a single one. Is that like where the one monster is from? The one that you took? Chupacabra? Yeah, the one got... No. No. Not okay, the then I literally know no secrets. Though. No. Oops. Uh, so the Appalachian Trail is yeah. just basically... Pennsylvania? Is that in Pennsylvania? Girl, the Appalachians. The yeah. Appalachians? The, the mountains? mountains? Yeah. The, the mountains that, that scale? is partially in Pennsylvania or am I still using? Yes. Music? No, okay. you're correct. I was like, I'm not from Pennsylvania. I don't you're know. You're correct. Um, so I wanted to do a case on this like for a while because I saw a YouTube video recommended to me mm-hmm. called Who Are the Appalachians? And I was like, oh Ooh. my God, this is great. <laughs> me. A week ago. Yeah. I finally watched this YouTube video that's in my watch later. Okay. Right? three months and i was like i'm gonna bank on this now i'm gonna do it on the mystery files yeah and then it had no mystery to it it was just talking about pennsylvanian pioneers and like all this stuff and it was very interesting but Mm -hmm. not a mystery that's disappointing so i so it's history committed Mm -hmm. to finding appalachian cases that happened through the trail so we have a little bit of folklore we have some uh, maybe like true crime kind of aspects to it. A lot of interesting things have happened. Mm. So that's basically what we're doing. We're going to do a bunch of little tiny cases oh. with a couple bigger ones. In I'm excited for this. This seems something I like. I would have pulled up on YouTube and I would have like a little mm-hmm. background of like a trail and like someone walking mm-hmm. from the background of the entire video. Well, that's what we can do for this one. That's Put good. Put them up on the top. The entire time, it's just one person yeah. walking. Just imagine you're walking through the Appalachians right now, guys. All right, so for the intro, stretching for more than uh, 2,200 miles and uh, traversing 14 different states, the Appalachian Trail may be the best long-distance hiking trail in the entire world. Millions of people start the trail each year, but only a small amount of them make it until the end. The trail is indeed a challenge since it is not an easy one both its distance and the fear of paranormal activity make it harder for hikers to complete for all the enthusiasts who want to be prepared in advance in the case they see anything unusual during their great smoky mountains hike here are some mysteries and legends of the appalachian trail Ooh, Ooh. i love that intro and i want to know if anyone's ever hiked the entire thing well, this hit through 14 states? Yeah, I think a couple people have, but a lot of people don't seem to, like, succeed with it. Why? Because um, they get possessed? Yeah, uh, I'll talk about it a little bit later, but I originally had a couple of disappearance cases on here. Mm. But what was weird is that when I was trying to look into more research about them, mm-hmm. I couldn't find anything on them. Were they covered up? 
that like there's just no record of them online like i did like double triple back checking from like articles that i was reading and only this one article like talked about it so i didn't fully like mm. trust it at the time yeah. Um, but most of my sources are coming from the travel.com, mm-hmm. medium.com, and coffee house writers. Love coffee house writers. You do, actually? I don't know what that is. But okay. I, love <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, you know them? I do. <laughs> um, so, first, we're going to start with the Appalachian Tunnels. Ooh. So, it has been rumored that some quite unusual creatures who have escaped from a secret underground experimental lab roam around the Appalachian Trail. Creepy, what? Right? What a way to right? start off with a bang. What? Yeah, like unusual creatures that were in an underground lab just like, just hang out around the trail. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking of like Scooby-Doo Mystery Corp. Well, what is it, the haunted one with all the ghosts and stuff? The... Oh my god. Monsters. Yeah! Unleashed! Monsters! Second, Scooby-Doo. Oh, when yeah, they're underground yeah. in the laboratory. That one. See, the one see? with the underground the laboratory underground. with I'm, the I'm monsters. I'm glad you're catching on to what I'm saying. <laughs> I was like, this could we do one. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Um, they seem to be similar to humans, but yet they are very different from them. It's rumored that their home is mostly the secret underground tunnels along the trail. That's so creepy. It, it feels almost kind of like goblin-esque almost that like Ew. they go and hide out there but then they come up to like forage for, are they like, like shapeshifters into humans is that the vibe because said they kind of look like us right is yeah they kind of look like us but aren't us almost like probably like humanoid humanoids things. like maybe they're like genetically altered because of what was happening Ew, in that lab that's horrifying um but this is what's crazy about it is that such tunnels have indeed been found actually on the Appalachian Trail in the face of remnants of an old military base in the Blue Ridge Summit. Ooh, that's yeah. creepy. That's really creepy. It's yeah. like, what were they doing? Like, was it Ooh, people who ended up getting disfigured from experiments? Or is it something dis- different? I, I don't, don't know. I don't know, actually. Um, Blue Ridge Summit's in Pennsylvania, by the way. It is Franklin County. Ooh. 717 area code. Is the tunnel still there or no? I think it's still there. Yeah. Like these tunnels like exist. Like if you Google the Appalachian tunnels, mm-hmm. like a couple pictures like come up and stuff with it. Um, so it was a real like place. Um, what? We can suddenly become hikers and we should go there. Yeah. Let's, I would only I mean, become a hiker just for that. We're in Pennsylvania. I feel like if we go north enough, like we'll find. We'll find right something trail. haunted. Right. We'll find something eventually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good luck. We'll be ready to go on a hike. <laughs> I'm not. Do I, I like go on a hike with you? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I'm not good at the directional thing. Me either. Or bugs. Mm, me either. Outdoors. I yeah. Hate it. I don't like it. anything outdoors. That's why we're doing a podcast inside. Does it look indoors, like you want to go out there looking? Indoors. Indoors. SpongeBob. But yeah, that's just a little snippet of okay. that one. There's Heck not yeah. a lot about it. Like, there's no. I tried looking. There's not a lot of like, what's the type of monster? What do people see? But this yeah. is like a common. Uh, what's the word? Like folklore thing yeah. that people talk about a lot is this base oh. having experiments that are let on the loose that are just hanging out through the Appalachian Trail. That sounds like such a good movie. Like the visuals for that. Yeah. Well, it feels oh. kind of Stranger Things as exactly. too. Mm-hmm. Like how they found Elle in the woods and then she yeah. like, I threw up. Papa. 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 <laughs> um, start screaming. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to move on to this one. This one's a little longer. Like okay. I, I, I was trying to thin out short, long, short, long. Give you, give us a little bit short, of a pace. Short, tall. In. Yeah. Short, tall. Tall, short. Tall, short. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were like calling me tall. I'm like incorrect. Yeah. Wrong. Tall of charisma and... Uniqueness. Lying about reading books. Anyway... <laughs> Um, so this one is called the Snarly Yow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, snarly stop. Yow. The Snar the Snarly Yow. I'm hoping that's how you say it. It's Y O W. Oh. The Snarly Yow. Yow. Yeah. Yow. Like yow. when you get like when like you step on a hot coal, you're yow. like Yow. The Snarly Yow. I've never heard of this. It's a creature. Yeah, this is a cryptid. This Ooh, is a cryptid, baby. Okay, I'm buckling up. Yeah, so. There is a legend that for hundreds of years, there's been a creature looking similar to a dog, which has been scaring off both people and animals coming across his way. While the so-called snarly yow isn't actually doing anything, the terror of seeing him is causing incidents all around the Appalachians. Ew. Gross. So, 
Yeah, so that's so just it's like not a, cute. Like, it's like creepy dog. Yeah, it's like creepy like dog like werewolf like. Okay. So you might have when you were talking about chupacabras for yeah, a second, that might be vibes. what you're thinking of, like okay. snarl dogs type of thing. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. So here's a couple of instances of them. So. Uh, hikers are forced to take another more difficult route through the Appalachian Trail, usually, because the Snarly Yow is blocking the easier path. Oh, man. He is also known to cause accidents with cars. <sighs> this exciting creature likes to haunt Harper Valley, West Virginia. Ooh. It is a dog-like beast that walks on two feet like a human. No, no. <laughs> Immediately no. <laughs> Have you ever seen that meme of like that cat on like two legs that dances? Oh my gosh! I'm imagining that. The white cat? Yes, the white cat. (laughs) I'm imagining that, but this dog, like, oh my god, hiking, and you just see this dog, and he's like, ooh, yeah, he's like dancing around. That's so creepy. I'm thinking of like, is it a skinwalker? Like when creatures stand up. Ooh, I've seen yeah. like weird videos. Didn't you send me a TikTok one time of like one down a dark hallway, like a really far back? Yeah. And I was like, what the heck is I that? I love sending you creepy videos in the middle <laughs> of the night. And I watched them in the middle of the night. I'm horrified. <laughs> Thank you. I've literally sent them to you in front of like other friends. I've been like, I'm sending this to her because I know it'll paranoid. <laughs> no, that's a real freak out in the middle of the night. Thanks. <laughs> True friendship. But no, yeah. So um, in the 1700s, German immigrants settled in the Potomac Valley area. Soon after, sightings of the snarly yow started. The German settlers brought their stories of the creatures with them. Mm. So this is kind of like the idea that they think like German immigrants brought this idea over from Germany, mm-hmm. but they are also saying there have been like sightings of it as well. So okay. there's not really any true knowing because there have been a few like cases Mm -hmm. um just like word of mouth and yeah okay but then it's also like maybe like they brought it with them like demons oh physically yeah did they did they physically bring it with them or did it attach themselves like a demon like a demon like a demon which we've seen a lot in other cases where a ghost follows them around like the amityville stuff Mm -hmm. which that comes up in this case too i'm getting ahead of myself oh my gosh wow call back um, so the Snarly Yow got its name because of the yowl it makes through a mouth mm. filled with teeth. Great. So I guess it is the yow. <laughs> yow. <laughs> um, what is unusual about this cryptid, though, is that it isn't physical. Oh, okay. Somehow it appears and disappears at will. Great. It sounds like a ghost or a spirit, right? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Except oh, this ghost haunts multiple areas. Whereas most ghosts haunt a single location. Weird. So there have been sightings of it in West Virginia, Maryland, and Virginia. Good luck to my sister in Maryland. Hey. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Look out for the gnarly yowl, baby. Watch out, bestie. No, that's so creepy that it can, like, appear in different places at yeah. once. That's horrifying. It's, mm-hmm. like, splitting itself dimensionally yes weird. kind of that's like literally it like the idea that it's like on like a plane of existence mm-hmm. that's like that that time can take place right isn't that yeah. creepy Ew. it's like wild mm-hmm. um which is i think they're gonna get into it a little bit too but like it's causing accidents too even though it's not touching them because it'll like make itself appear on the road and people are like i don't want to hit the dog sh- we sh- and then it's gone that's just messed up people right? are like i don't want to hit the baby little dog me Boom. Boom. Hey, I, stop Speed it. Bump. Speed bump. I can't drive. Logan the master. There's a reason neither of us have a license. <laughs> and <laughs> mainly you shouldn't have a license. <laughs> no, I would protect us from a cryptid. That's more of a reason why I should a, have a license. What if you just... Mm, I'm going to say this with caution. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what if you saw an actual dog thinking it was this little snarly guy? I And you know. hit it because you're like, oh, it's just, it's just the yow guy. I would know the difference because I... I can, I can, uh, I, I can tell. What if there's a silly little dog wants to stand on hind legs in the street and you're like, ha, yeah, I'll get the yow. Well, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> All dogs go to hell. Stop <laughs> I'm master. kidding. I don't even have a license. So everything's fine, <laughs> See, guys. See, you don't even have to worry because Logan will never get a license. Everybody's is my favorite movie. How can I hit a dog? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? But the snarly yow, oh, baby. It's on sight. Me, no. me and him, we're beefing. What if he walks in here on his, both his legs? <laughs> he steps up. <laughs> he looks like Scrappy-Doo. He's like, what would you talk about? Oh to? my god. No, he looks like Scrappy-Doo in the first Scooby-Doo. Ew, when he starts he, getting, like, he bulbous. Goes, <laughs> yes! He comes in and goes, Scrappy-Doo! 
Scrappy Dappy. That wasn't good. Ooh. Scrappy Dappy. Mm. You're getting say it. Scooby. You gotta like turn into him. Ah, puppy power. Ah, puppy power. That was good. Yeah, and then your chest bursts open, and he's like controlling uh, you. I wish someone would. Anywho. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, so it's reported that the gnarly yowl likes mountains, mm -hmm. and there are reports from Blue Ridge South Mountain and the mountains of Harper's Ferry, um, which we'll talk about more throughout this thing, but Harper's Ferry is a location that comes up a lot in this, actually. Okay. So a lot of the paranormal activity seems to come from Harper's Ferry, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. So it can also change its size. Okay. And then disappear instantly and reappear. And legend says that the beast lurks on old roads leading into town, waiting mm. for the, an unexpected motorist driving home late at night. Then it leaps out in front of the poor Ew. driver. At least we live in the city. If we live back home, we would have yeah. all those country roads to worry about. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, deer come out there all the time. Yeah. And I'm like, absolutely. I mean, right. I have seen a deer in the city. I've seen a deer, mm -hmm. like, going to downtown. I've seen a turkey. Oh, I think I know what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Or that weird little park with the weird shaped things are. I don't know what I'm thinking of. It's the side of the Maybe. road. There's a very specific spot. I always see turkey. Yeah, there's turkey. Mm -hmm. There was a bear up where I live. Remember that? I know. A bear. The Mount Washington bear. That's concerning. There was a grizzly bear up in Mount Washington. It was nuts. It was after bear. we moved there. Like, just moved Great. there. Great. So you're like, fun neighborhood. Yeah. That was your gift after uh, moving out. You were like, here's a bear. <laughs> Bye. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Um, so this is like what is very interesting is that numerous reports on these roads throughout the Appalachia mm -hmm. um, have eyewitness accounts and police records um, that they thought that they hit a beast. Okay. So, so they, do they, they feel they, it? Yeah. They feel they, the they, hit. They, they feel like they hit a beast even okay. though there was nothing there. Like police have gone there before mm -hmm. looking for Wow. Carcasses. So do they see like an indent Bodies. on their car as well? Like they see a physical impact on their car. There's been a couple of them that's Ooh. been like there's been like a physical like dent through it. That's really creepy. Yeah. The fact that it can like materialize enough to like leave mm -hmm. the dent. Ooh. Yeah. Um one of the creepiest thing about some of the eyewitness reports mm -hmm. when they've like filed it with the police is that after they stop their car to mm -hmm. like try to, you know, not hit it. Yeah. They'll look in their rear, rear view mirror and they see it standing on its hind legs no staring at absolutely them. not if i saw that mm, i would never recover it's the cat again it's like it's the cat <laughs> it better be the cat i, I could have to not do a recover social media post that with the cat yeah oh my gosh that'd be so cute but yeah if i saw that i would not recover at night when i close my eyes it's all i'd want to see I wouldn't want to be in a car because I'd be scared to look through my windows. Mm. Like, just imagine seeing a wolf, like, on its hind legs like that. I know it's not Ew. a wolf, but it's, like, dog-like. So I envis I'm envisioning a wolf. It's Jacob. It's Jacob. It's, it's uh, what is that man's name? In real life? Yeah. D uh, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor Lautner. Lautner. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. It took us a little bit to get there. We got there, though. I, I don't watch all the Twilights. I watch them in <laughs> passing, but, like, not... <laughs> I know, with Daniel being my best friend, I'm like, how do I do that? The the, <laughs> the, the, the people hit the car. Oh, no. Like, hit the wolf with the car. Mm -hmm. And then they see it in the back mirror, and it starts walking up to them, and they go, Bella, where you been, where Loco? Where you been, Loco? <laughs> Stop, he actually just turns into his child self, and he's just from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. He's like, dream a dream? What is that song? Best movie in the world. <laughs> Shut your mouth. And... Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is, actually. Wait. Dream, dream, oh, wait. dream. Okay, 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 okay. Close your eyes, shut your mouth, dream a dream and let us out. Dream, 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 dream. Thank you. Wow. You're welcome. And then he like goes on and is like freaking Max out. And he's like, have some water? Here's a cup. And he pours it on him. He's like, dream, 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 dream. Honestly, what if you just heard that melody and like that, it started walking towards you? I would cry. Dream, 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 dream. It's Mr. Electric. And It's George Lopez. Dream, 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 dream. <laughs> He's like, they call me Mr. Electric. <laughs> Ew. I'm uh, so mad. He, he comes up to cursed. your car and is like, Linus, you get a minus. He keys your car. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lava Girl with her, like, finger. <laughs> your car. 
<laughs> That's so stupid. That's so stupid. I hope Shark Boy and Lava Girl are in the Appalachians. That would be hilarious. My true dream of a haunting is that. That is my true dream. <laughs> the ideal experience. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so there are many stories about the yell as well from the 1700s about run-ins with the monster. People out walking or riding horseback mm-hmm. report when the mysterious dog-like creature appears, it follows them while they are walking Ew. and spooks the horses they ride. No. Um, so sometimes it appears briefly and then disappears. Variations of the story report that scared hunters have fired at the beast, oh. thrown rocks and sticks at it, but everything sails right through its body. Ooh. So if you try to shoot it, the bullet will go right through him. Can you imagine, like, you're a hunter in the woods and it's, like, the morning time? You know how, like, hunters, like, get ready yeah. early in the you morning see, like, and go out? like, a wolf or something? Yeah, you see that? No. I don't... Ooh. I would move. Reason a billion... I don't want to yeah. be an outdoorsy gal. <laughs> like, I know it's like the 17... 70- no. Tiffany. Yeah. If listen. we were born in the 1700s, <laughs> we, we would be, be dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> we would be dead. There's no way we're surviving that. I need my phone. Yeah. I need TV. I need little Starbucks drinks. Yeah. I, I wouldn't survive. And the thing is, I have a small statement about this because mm-hmm. when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with the Little House on the Prairie books. And then I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, what could I have possibly found interest interesting in the Little House in the Prairie yeah. books? There My was God, no, that would suck. Yeah, like I'm thinking about, oh, what if I read that now? I'd honestly hate it because what's actually happening? <laughs> Nothing. I don't want to live then. I don't want to imagine it. No, literally, no. like I don't want to do any of that. Like, yeah. That's why when I see like medieval times shows too, I'm literally like, why would Boring. I? Ever? Why would? I'm gonna eat lamb every night for dinner <sighs> and date a man who's got a long and beard. Get consumption and then cough yourself to death yeah yeah get syphilis and die at like yeah 14 at 14 absolutely not wrong not me not for not me bestie me. i'm not getting married as a child um Mm-mm. no somebody, somebody different whack. things whack 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 cancel 1700s yeah. especially with all the paranormal stuff too that's going on mm-hmm. in the world especially like even in the 1700s all the witchcraft happening back then hot time for Tiffany, it if we were in salem <laughs> you'd be dead i'd be a witch you'd be a witch and I couldn't like, save you. They would probably burn they me, would too. They would think Logan was, like, a warlock. They'd be like, they'd be like get the gay little one, too. Honestly, they think you were a witch, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they, they would. Get the gay little one, too. Yeah. We would get burned wait, together, you, wait, tied up. Do you think they thought gay people were witches, then? Probably, because we serve so fiercely. Ow! So, happy Pride Month! <laughs> happy Pride <laughs> <laughs> they don't just slay me. They Stop. slay me. They slay me. <laughs> they slay me. No. Oh, oh, I'm burning this house down, Stop mama. It. Literally. Oh, baby. Literally. I'm burning this town down, girl. <laughs> it's giving arson. It's giving witch child. I'm getting burned at the stake in a clack of fish. <laughs> Stop. It. It's getting hot in here. Oh, God, guys. It's heating up. Oh my god, it's almost as hot as me in here. Hi, David. Hey. (laughs) And he's like, kill him. Kill the witch. Yeah. But no, yeah, we would both die. Yeah, I hate 1700s. 1800s, all those. All those hundreds. I know we keep jumping period dates, but all of it, guys. If it's outside. If nothing's happening. 2000s. Done. We'd be dead. (laughs) We'd be dead. We'd be dead. Anything before my actual birth year, dead. Dead. Wrong. Gone. Gone. Absolutely not. But yeah. <laughs> um, so the one constant theme about the Snarly Yow um, is that it disappears in front of people. Mm-hmm. More modern reports are about how drivers run over a dog and get mm. out of a car to check the damage and look for the animal. Except usually there is no damage and okay. there is nobody. Ooh. However, even scarier, the dog-like creature appears near them and sometimes <gasps> snarls at them. Ew. I'd be so scared. Mm-hmm. It also seems to like sites of conflict, appearing at sites of several civil war battles. Oh, weird. Mm-hmm. I would not have imagined that. Yeah, right? Ooh, at first I thought you were going to say, like, at the site of, like, bad car accidents. Like, you know how some people see, like, a random figure or, like, mm-hmm. things like that right when they have a bad car accident? Like, what mm-hmm. if they saw that thing? I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like, what's weird about it. Yeah. Um, so, Harper's Ferry is one of these many sites, and there are many Civil War sites from West Virginia to Maryland. This mm. story is to similar to how Mothman <gasps> appeared before the Silver Bridge collapsed in Point Pleasant. Wow, it's like an omen. Mm-hmm. He was actually on this list, but I had to cut him, because oh. we did it. Already covered it. I had to cut Mothman. You're joking. Chupacabra? Bigfoot. Chupacabra? We haven't covered Bigfoot yet. Are you saving him? 
Yeah, we covered him slightly on, like, what are the Under the Tree specials, I think. Okay, but, but not, like, a complete coverage. No, and I didn't want to talk about him again when we already did a mini one on him. Fair, fair. Um, so, there is a plaque by the road at the local battle site near uh, Boonesboro, Maryland. Oh. That says, beware of the snarly yowl. Aww. Aww. You should make a t-shirt. <laughs> beware, uh, they should, beware honestly. Beware the snarling yowl. It's like Gravity Falls. <laughs> Oh yeah! Like, Where the snarling yow? That Where seems the like snarling gravity yow? falls merch. Aww, cute. I think it's wild that this is a creature that's talked about through like Appalachia and like Pennsylvania too. Yeah. Even though it's in Maryland and West Virginia mostly, I've never mm. heard of this creature. No, I've never heard of it. Before in either. my life. Eva. Yeah. The snarling yow. The snarling yow. Yeah. It's a little chaotic um, cutie. So yeah, uh, who or what the Snarly Yow was was never discovered, and mm. reports trickled away to nothing until 1975. What a year. When the reports picked up again and more sightings occurred. The mm. most impressive one is about a busload of children returning from a field trip to oh, no. the Washington Monument. Great setup. Yeah, I'm like, what Great is going to happen? Oh, dear God. This is like Spider-Man's about to come yeah, in and save like, them. Yeah, he's like, bus is split in half. He's all... Yeah, literally, he's like trying to save them. <laughs> uh, they were returning to Middleton when a black dog chased the bus down. Oh, my. And it ran in front of the bus, but the driver didn't have enough time to stop me. Oh, not enough uh, time. <laughs> The passengers heard the thud <gasps> and felt the bump as they ran over the dog. Oh my gosh. First off, can you imagine a dog creature running fast enough that it outruns the bus to get in front of it? Yeah. The fact that the bus was like... What do you like, do? Yeah, I'm like... What do you do? How was the dog that quick that yeah. was chasing the bus? And imagine became, being a kid on the bus too, because yeah. you know what it's like to be on the bus. You would mm -hmm. like, you're hanging out, you're having a fun time, and you look behind you and you see like... A creature running like, after you? Imagine it was and on its hind legs too. Yeah, it's catching up. That's yeah. the most concerning part mm -hmm. compared to a bus. Also the fact they hit it. Wild, like, yeah. Like as a kid, I feel like any sort of accident on a bus is like traumatizing. I've been in like three bus accidents in my life. So like imagine like one high of school, like 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 yellow high, bus accidents. Yeah, one in high school, one when I was in like, well, two, one in high school, one in middle school, and one when oh I was in like god. third grade or fourth grade. Oh my god. Yeah, one. The I think the worst one was there was a car that hit the back of the bus and like went underneath the bus a little bit. That's crazy. The person was alive, That's but good. they like crushed. That's yeah, wild. Yeah, but, like, imagine a dog. So See, the, I feel like the kids would freak out, but, yeah. So the buses were, like, the, all the accidents you were in were involved with other cars? Yeah. I was in a bus accident, but what happened was that the bus backed up too far in one of those, like, big hills that oh, are common in our area, mm -hmm. and it got stuck halfway. So Ooh. I had to move to, like, the front of the bus. Oh, to, like, even the weight? Yeah, to, like, help, like, get it out. That's like, creepy. Stuff. Ew. It was only, like, five minutes. Like, it could have been crazier, but I guess you could consider that, like, a accident. An accident. But I feel it like, as wild. a kid, like, it's so stressful, but it's also, like, kind of fun chaos you're like oh we're late <laughs> we're on the bus longer this is so weird oh my god guys so, so crazy. different but yeah i feel like as a kid i really freaked out if it was a creature running after the bus and then yeah you hear it hear thud <laughs> well the scarring doesn't end there oh no uh so they stopped further up the road and they got out to investigate so the driver the staff everyone shocked to see the dog was standing in the middle of the road unharmed Stop. and it bared its teeth at them before disappearing into thin air <gasps> Oh my gosh it's even stranger that like normally it would be like there's a couple people in the car and like oh someone saw it but like the fact that an entire bus full of kids right all saw it it's like Creepy. okay <laughs> this has to be real Creepy. literally Ew. yeah so Ooh. whatever the reason this critter it's not going anywhere so if you ever find yourself in harper's ferry west virginia make sure the windows are up you might also want to keep the doors locked and whatever you do do not get out of the car unless you want to meet the snarly owl. Hey, also get a fast car. Huh? Get a fast car. Get a fast car. Get a fast car. Steal a car. So you can get away from the guy. Steal a car. Hit a dog. Rob a store. Um, okay. Commit arson. Keep adding stuff to the commit list. Commit tax fraud. Yeah, do that first, um, actually. And then commit arson. Rob a Whole Foods. <laughs> what do you got against a grocery store? Uh huh. What do you got against the grocery store? Is it too expensive? They got a whole lot of food. A That's whole my problem. A whole lot of food. <laughs> so that was one of the bigger boys. I like that. Mess. Yeah, okay. I liked it too. Heck I actually yeah. um had favorite. to cut it down. The original Stand amount of pages I had for this episode was thirty. Big oof. And I had to like 
Edit, you said edit, trim, trim, edit. trim. I was sitting with uh, Danny, and like me and him were like, I was literally like sitting there, like I was like, cut, cut, Aww, cut. Oh, he's like, but I like that part. <laughs> Not that part. No, I love that part. That's my favorite I part. I love the part where they hit the dog. Come on. <laughs> My favorite part. <laughs> um, so we're moving on to the next one. Okay. And this one I was very curious about. So this is the brown mountain lights. Have you oh. heard of this before? Mm, maybe, but I don't know if it's called this. Okay. So, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about, too, because I had experience with this also. So okay. We'll so the brown mountain lights, also called ghost lights. Okay. It is claimed that the brown mountain lights are glowing spheres in the skies in different mm. yellowish colors. It is also said that they have been happening for over a century, Ooh. yet their occurrence is now a rarity. Weird. Do, no, do you I, know this? I think so. Yeah. And I think I've had experiences, I think we talked about on last podcast, where there was times in the woods that yeah. we've had lights come in front of a four-wheeler and we thought it was an actual car or anything and, and it, it was a whole thing because we were in the middle of the woods like there's on a trail Ugh. there's no way it'd be Mm-mm. anything else no yeah but yeah we've seen like flashes yeah like i know you see like spots and stuff sometimes after like you yeah. get a flash on your eye and stuff yeah. but there's been times i've had that happen when like sunset or broad daylight or yeah. stuff and it's like weird it's weird and it usually comes up in pictures too mm-hmm. like, like the orbs a, yeah an orb mm-hmm. yeah like and it's weird sometimes because like it'll be like Oh, that's just, like, the flash or whatever. But sometimes on pictures, at least, like, when my mom would take them, Mm -hmm. um, there'd be, like, huge ones that were, like, this yellow-brown that they're talking about. So it's just, like, I'm pretty sure that as far as orbs go, I'm pretty sure there's different colors that symbolize different things. Like, Mm -hmm. I think maybe there was one that symbolizes, like, your guardian angel, one that's, like an ominous spirit like the yeah. different colors like if the things. orb is behind you and it's yeah. like a yellowish color it's like a guardian angel yeah, or it's like your I grandmother so. or something there's like all this different symbolism i'm like that's so fun i'm like i hope i got the good one <laughs> like i'm just <laughs> i uncertain. hope it's not gonna possess me but yeah i've seen the ghosty lights and i know they're not fireflies or lightning bugs because it's big lights that i can tell it's not baby little bug you would not believe your, your eyes, eyes if 10 million brown lightning mountain bugs. lights <laughs> brown mountain lights Brown mountain lights. Wow. Stunning. We should be singers. I'd like to make myself believe that I'm not going to be possessed. We should make an album. By a demon. We should. You could do backup vocals. I'll carry us. (laughs) Like usual. (laughs) Like usual, I'll carry the show on my back. (laughs) And you can suffer. Okay, um, so reports of these lights also uh, began before the 20th century and are also present. And that's why there's a variety of legends that explain their origin. Mm. Um, One of the most famous ones is that these are the souls of Native American women searching for their loved ones who died in the original battle of the Cherokee and the Catawaba tribes. Um, And another popular legend is that these lights are the torch of slaves that continue searching for their lost forest masters. Wow. Right? Those are both like really sad. Yeah. Like That's I think crazy. I think there could be like um some slight truth to like that. Oh my too. gosh. Yeah. Um especially because we talked about it quite a few times, but like the night marchers in Hawaii too. I was thinking that mm-hmm. like the just the idea of like a yearning soul like having that. Yeah. Um I just think it's really interesting because also a lot of this Appalachian stuff goes back to like native american folklore too Mm -hmm. which uh i love and i think is really interesting um because it's like all like northeastern kind of stuff and we've Mm -hmm. dabbled in like canada before too so i think it's like really interesting that like this could be like a part of it too Mm -hmm. because i feel like you see this in films sometimes too like orbs orbs being Mm -hmm. people like coming down or whatever yeah like symbolizing things and also like going off what you were saying i feel like it could also be a thing where these places hold like significant trauma we said this a billion times already Mm -hmm. but if a place it's past holds so much trauma Mm -hmm. these lights could be the trauma manifesting into yeah, something like literally, see. yeah, literally, and that's why like you will like see stuff like that all the mm-hmm. time. And it's it's just like wild. Wow. Um. So yeah, that's a little bit about like the brown mountain lights. I tried to look up more about it, but there yeah. wasn't a lot. But I just think it's interesting that it's very. uh It just felt kind of Pennsylvania. 
almost. Oh, yeah. Like the brown mm-hmm. mountain lights. I was like, this feels so Pennsylvania coated. It's mm-hmm. insane. Especially the stuff about like the Cherokee Indians and all that stuff. I'm yeah. like, that's very, yeah. like the history of Pennsylvania. It, it really is. Like, it's wild. Um, so we're going to move on to the next one. Mm. This one's shorter as well. But okay. this is also some Native American uh, folklore as well. Mm. So this is, have you heard of this before? The Wampus Cat. I don't think so. The, you never heard of the Wampus Cat? The Wampus Cat. First you're talking about Daniel's hometown. Wampum. 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 The Wampum Cat. The Wampum Cat. The Wampus Cat. No, I've never heard of the Wampus Cat. The Wampus Cat. Do you know what a Caddy Wampus is? Yes. Yes. I don't know what it is or another name. What's a Caddy Wampus? Is that, was that a shape? I don't know. It's a Caddy Wampus. <laughs> it's a know. circle. It's a circle. It's a bad looking circle. <laughs> Wait. No. What's Caddy Wampus then? Caddy Wampus is like the idea of, I think, like mischief. And like stuff like oh that's so like cattywampus that's so like crazy. Oh, I well, thought it meant like let me double check. distorted or like a weird shape, like yes, angled. Definition: a skew, a rye. Kitty Corner. Caddy Wampus is a variant of Catawampus, another example of grand 19th century American slang. Mm. In addition to a skew, Caddy Wampus may of refer to an imaginary fierce wild animal oh, wow. or may mean savage or destructive okay so like i was somewhere right in terms of like a, an off an angle you were there the, it, it mentioned a skew and a skew could be like taken as like a, a weird looking shape probably yeah. you could say i was caddy wampus to what caddy wampus was you were caddy wampus yeah you were being catty how you were describing catty wampus, which was making you catty wampus, which made me want to go womp womp. Womp womp. Catty womp womp. Catty womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the wampus cat representing another forest half animal, half human creature. Oh, not Because we cat. love those. Oh, <gasps> no. Stop it. What? What? You're scaring me. What? No, it's the, it is the cat. It's the what? main cat. It's actually it's, the cat. It's actually the cat. Oh my it's the God. wampus cat. You seriously manifested that. I did. I mean, oh, I literally read know? all of these and I forgot. But like your brain was like, hey, you're going to so love this funny, later. Guys. You're going to love this callback. Hey, Logan, remember this joke. I love it. Ding. Um, The legendary wampus cat derives from the Native American tribe uh, with the Cherokee stories. It is said that the wampus cat came into existence when a Native American woman was expelled from her tribe, having been cursed for witnessing forbidden rituals. Oh. Crazy. Crazy crime. What were the forbidden rituals? I don't fully know. I just think it's wild that they banished this poor woman. Like They banished her because she saw the she rituals? She saw, like, yeah, like she was watching forbidden rituals go on. I think it's like, um, like ones that are like to honor like spirits and gods and things like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking like occult vibe no, stuff. Like no. it was evil or something. No, no, no Lord of the Flies, no, Yellow okay, Jackets okay. stuff. I was like, like why? Just, just rituals that were okay. important to like the religious beliefs of okay. Native Americans. Um, but the, the, the punishment for that was banishment, I guess. They said, you can't see this, sis. It's not for you. Um. Okay. So walking under, oh, you might have heard of this before. Because okay. I think I have as well. Walking across her village, she hid under the thick fur and became one with it. Mm. So becoming the wampus cat. It is a popular belief that this half woman, half cat creature still hunts and haunts the Appalachian Mountains. I feel like maybe I've seen imagery of this somewhere. You me too. And I'm not sure where I would have seen it, but I feel like it seems yeah. familiar. Like she'd wear it like, like a we pelt. we brought this on an episode somewhere before, right? Yes. Or am I crazy? Is it in any like pop culture things you can think of? I mean, I've heard of the term like a catty wampus before or a wampus cat, but mm-hmm. I don't know much about them particularly. But I feel like picturing her in like the felt of like a big cat or like something. I can Isn't s- that like a Greek thing? Like the idea I of like know. wearing, yeah, like wearing like lion skins and you become the lion yeah. type of stuff. I think that's where I've heard There's that just something, before. I'll have to look, maybe look it up later, like go mm-hmm. look into it. I don't know. There's something very specific in the imagery that I'm like, what hmm. am I thinking about? Hmm. Let me Google the Wampus Cat again. Let's Google see if I can find any more. Of the day. Oh, I saw this picture. This is so what? unnecessary. Mm-hmm. But please look at this funny picture of the Wampus Cat. Girl, <laughs> be for real. That's literally a cougar. It's just a that, wacky It's like cougar. a CGI. Like That's a lumpy cougar. <laughs> Why does it look like that? It's all... Ooh. It's so funny. Like, look at these. These are so funny. It looks like, like a... You have six legs. That, yeah. Nasty. Yes. It's all 
bubbly looking. Girl, this one's just a cat with blue eyes. <laughs> like, that's literally just a cougar in the night. I don't know. <laughs> They're so funny. They're trying to pull a fast one on us. They are. Oh, look at this little baby. Aww. We're just looking at cat pictures No, those now. seriously look like cougars or mountain lions. Aww. This is a mountain lion girl. <laughs> well, that's a, a high mascot. school mascot. <laughs> right. My high school mascot was a cougar. Really? Actually, so it's fun. Everything's making a little wow full circle moment. Wow. Wow. I won't say what's Ours were though. the Trojans. You can imagine the jokes that were told. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> dumb. Um, but yeah, I don't fully know. Um, but I've definitely heard of like this idea before of like becoming one with like the skin. Yeah. That's very like Wendigo coded as well. Like yeah. just the idea of like humans turning into humanoid creatures. That seems mm -hmm. to come up a lot with Native American folklore that we do, which is kind of fun. Ooh. Um, all right, so we're gonna move on to the Flatwood Monster. Have you Ooh, heard of this one? No. Okay. I don't know. So the Flatwood Monster is a another monster that claims to have come into existence in the 50s in the Flatwoods. Mm -hmm. Um, it was reported to have been seen in Braxton County, West Virginia, by elementary school boys, a woman, the mother of two of them, and a 17-year-old National Guard. Wow. Um, lots of people. Yeah, so following a strange burning light in the sky, the group found their way to the woods where the creature was reported to have been seen levitating. Ew, mm -hmm. weird. Ew, ew, ew. Right? The story of uh, one of the first ones to be connected with UFOs ever. I was just going to say that this feels like a little alien story or something. Mm -hmm. Just the way the lights, they're following the lights. Yeah. Um, mm. It made it to national news at that time. Years later, the Flatwood Monster still has not been forgotten by the locals around the Appalachian Mountains. Mm. Um, so to show you like a little bit... Um, a picture of them as well you may have seen this before because i think it's like an iconic moment here this mm -hmm. is what a flatwood monster looks like apparently Ooh, right so that's it's like interesting it's it's very alien-esque yes it's very weird ew um, what if it was either a creature like a random cryptid, cryptid type creature getting abducted by aliens mm -hmm. or like i don't know the aliens were like saying be one of us bestie be one and of takes us the cryptids be one alien of us ship. Oh yeah, like yeah. the Loch Ness monsters coming aboard and they're going on a space adventure. That's so cute! <gasps> That'd oh my be gosh! So cute. All the cryptids get picked up by the UFOs to be dropped in random spots in different times. I think That's we a have our show. TV show pitch. Oh, don't stop. take that. Don't Copy take written. it. Don't Copy written. take it. Right here, right now. If you're listening, you know who. Don't take this. You know who. Room. You know who you are. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> um, but so the figure was described as being ten feet tall with a round, blood red face a large pointed hood-like shape mm. around the face, and eye-like shapes emitted greenish-orange light. Ooh. And it had a dark black or green body, so a mixture of, like, those colors. Mm. Um, and they described them having small claw-like hands. Ooh, creepy. Um, and clothing like folds, and a head that resembled the ace of spades. Oh. Yeah, so it's, just, like, kind of Ew. fun. This honestly reminds me, I can't remember the name of the book, but there's a book by this author, V.E. Schwab, mm -hmm. and I feel like the cover art of this book sounds like what this is describing. V.E. Schwab? V.E. Schwab. V? E? e? And then S-C-H-U-A-B? Yeah. Girl, can you read? S-C-H-U-A-B? Is that I right? It's probably, I can't V-Jab. V-Jab. Sure. Do that, and then something shadows. What we the jab in the shadows. What we were bam and am. Shadows in the something. I think you spell. I can't see your screen. It came up with a UFC fight. I don't think you know how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always homeschooled. Leave me alone. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Shawab. Shadows. I don't know what this book is actually called. I've seen the cover. Girl. This. Oh. What's it called? Shadow? Something magic? Oh, I've seen this before. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, it has similar vibes of, like, Like a mercenary creature. kind yeah. of vibe. It looks like they're about to assassinate somebody. What's this book called? The Shades of Magic. The Shades of Magic. The Shadow of Magic something. Girl, maybe she, maybe he was there. You don't know. Maybe it's part of the book. Maybe it's um, not. Maybe it just has a very similar vibe. Yeah. So they were, uh, they were told that they, like, that the, these aliens also made hissing sounds. <gasps> And no, they no, glided. No. They didn't walk. They glide. Stop. Like there are UFOs kind of on the bottom. That is funny. For a second, I was thinking it's like roller skates on the air. <laughs> like, zzz. That would be real. Can you imagine, like, the whole idea of, like, a, 
Oh no. It sounds like they're peeing. Like <laughs> like pss- pss- as they walk. Uh, it's like acid hitting At the all ground. Times. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's why they're called flatwoods, because they flatten the wood with, with their, their acid, toxic pee. With their acid pee. Their acid pee. That's what it is. That's unfortunate. That's what them. we're taking. That's that's the whole thing. That's quite unfortunate for them. <laughs> but yeah, that's a bit about the flatwoods monsters. There's a couple of like uh, eyewitness accounts inside of it, but it's I basically got the whole gist of it. It's like the whole idea that like they saw them crash, got mm-hmm. up there, and they were like, oh, pretty, pretty. hanging out. Hiss, hiss. Can you imagine? I kind of want to meet them. I know, like, oh, scary, but, like, it's kind of fun, right? Flatwoods Monsters, if you're listening, come hang out. Come, come on. We would like to hang out. I'll be your bestie just for one night, as long as you don't yeah. put acid pee on me. Pee yeah, on don't me. acid that. pee all over me. I'm just oh, a human. Oh, no, don't acid pee all over me. Oh, no, you're burning my flesh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, don't do that with your skin-like folds, like clothes. <laughs> Not skin like folds. I don't even know what that means. Like their skin, skin folds. You like ET's skin folds. Yeah, like that ugly little thing. Watch your mouth. ET's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. You're, Can I just say? You're actually sitting above under my ET poster that Daniel got me. I hate you. Watch your mouth. He's just a wee little he's alien. He's ugly. No, he's not. He's all dumb being him. stupid. I love it. it Thanks, just because he's stupid and cute be, yeah kind of Cause yeah. stupid and cute it's like my whole vibe except i'm not stupid he gives i feel like i'm in a fighting mood today I do you ever see too. something like so cute you want to kick it i think that's cuteness aggression yeah like, like et to its head. i'm gonna kick it i'm gonna the kick thing is, i feel like cuteness aggression isn't like physically trying to hurt the thing it's just like i want to squeeze your little head yeah not like i want to kick you and punt you across the field that, that's see, actual aggression well no that's because Mm. maybe the opposite of cuteness aggression like stupid aggression like i see something so stupid i'm gonna kick it so you hate it is what you're telling me yeah. <laughs> that sounds a lot like, like this thing called hate i don't know if you're familiar did you ever watch the, the bear in the big blue house you want to punt bear in the big blue house no the little gonna, lemur thing the little green lemur thing in the big bear you're gonna in the blue punt house. a lemur yeah i'm gonna kick zumba foo that little thing i'm gonna Stop kick it, it. Zabumafu. He's gonna go. He's gonna go flying, girl. Zabuma, flying. Zabumafu, more like Zabuma flu. Am I right? <laughs> Zabuma across flu. the room, he zoomed. That <laughs> he flew. Zabuma that... flew across the room. <laughs> God. Hey. All right. Are you ready for the last one? <laughs> yeah. So this one I was very excited about. Okay. Our All last Appalachian case is called the Bell Witch. <gasps> Have you heard of this? Stop it. No, I feel like. This was either one of the cases we did back when we were a radio show. I don't remember what it was. It was either when we were a radio show or when we first started the podcast and weren't releasing it. I don't remember. Did we do the Bell Witch? I'm vaguely, I feel like we have a long time ago. Wow. Like before we were posting as a podcast. We might have because this is where the Amityville I mean, I don't remember much about it, but I remember the, the Bell Witch story. Okay. Mm. All right, so Back to our roots. The story of the Bell Witch begins around the beginning of the 19th century in the mm. village of Adams, Tennessee. John and Lucy Bell decided to settle in a new home in Adams. They had two daughters, and for quite a while, the family had a peaceful life in the village. Mm. Years later, however, they began experiencing strange noises and paranormal activity in their house. Oh no. Many curious people came to meet with the ghost hunting Bell family which was claimed to be a witch whose goal was to kill John Bell. However, once the man passed away in a very strange circumstance, the ghost of the witch did not disappear, and it continued to hunt its daughters. Oh, no. While the presence of the Bell Witch in the region has not been reported after the beginning of the 20th century, her spirit may still be roaming around the popular Appalachian Trail, having fun scaring off hikers. Ew, I hate that. If I were to run into that, honestly, I know, like, mm-hmm. I was really pretty scared of, like, all the other cryptid little things you're talking yeah. about. This one's nuts. But to see the Bell this Witch. This one's crazy. Ew. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would freak me out so bad. Gross. Yeah. So oh. the haunting began sometime in 1817 when John Bell witnessed the apparition of a strange creature resembling a dog. Oh, here we dun, go. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. What? The multiverse of madness. <laughs> uh, Bell fired at the animal, but it disappeared. Oh, here we go. It's all things in one. Mm-hmm. John's son, Drew Bell, approached an unknown bird perched on a fence that flew off, and it was extraordinary of size, which might be referring to Thunderbirds. 
Wait, wait, can I make a guess? Yeah. I have a guess. What if the Bell Witch is just shape-shifting into all these different creatures? And oh, because... Like a like a Baba Yaga? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Maybe. But a shape-shifter. So she can shape-shift into all these different things. And obviously she can jump time and dimensions and things. So she can shift into like a dog, into a big bird, into whatever. Yeah, I How mean, creepy. it's possible. Like, what if the Bell Witch is all of these cryptids that we see? Yeah. What if she is the Scarling Dog? Uh, right? That would explain the children. Yeah. All of it. All of it. Mm-hmm. She's a creepy gal. Creepy gal. Um... And the daughter of Betsy, um, the wife, observed a girl in a green dress swinging from the limb of an oak tree. So they were seeing oh. all these crazy things happening around them, Ew. which is very Amityville horror as well. Like mm-hmm. the idea of seeing things that aren't there, like a whole family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so weird. It, it's like weird that all of this activity is like condensed to where they're living. It's all happening to them. Yeah, like though, that's exactly. weird. That's it's, so much yeah, weird stuff is happening. Yeah, it's because like um, I think it was said like in it, um, the witch's plan was to kill John Bell. Like the witch wanted to kill him, oh. and even though like it, I said in the synopsis, like uh, it's still haunted after he was gone. Mm-hmm. That was her plan was screwing with the whole family. Wow, like drive them mad enough to either like they will hurt themselves or each other or I think a little bit of, of both. Okay. Honestly. Um, about this time, John Bell began experiencing paralysis in his mouth. Oh. The phenomenon grew in intensity as sheets were pulled from beds when the children were asleep. Ew. Very Amityville. Very, Very Amityville. Activity. Oh my god. Soon the entity pulled hair and scratched the children with particular emphasis on Betsy. That's a demon. Who would be slapped, pinched, and stuck with pins. Ew. <gasps> I think I know where I know this. Where? We didn't cover this. Look up, hot second, Sam and Colby, Bell Witch. Uh, this has to be where I've heard this. Cause I, I, maybe we did not cover it. Maybe I watched this a long time ago. Do they have a do they have The a demon YouTube? of the Bell Witch Cave, Sam and Colby. Ha! Okay, yeah, we didn't cover it. It okay. was them. A, yeah. a, okay. The Bell Witch Cave, a.k.a. America's Scariest Ghost Story. Look at you. Yeah, wow. Because I was like, why do I recognize yeah. this? I think I was thinking of... um. The Bella and the Witch Elm story. That's that's what I thought you were going with. Because yeah. when I first saw this, I was like, like oh, Bella is this the, the Bell, w- Bell and the Witch Elm story? Which is a great case. Great, great case. Great that case. was one of our f- first, if not our first case. Yeah. Because I think I've scrolled down to the bottom of our Instagram, and I think Bella and the Witch Elm was like one of the first ones we ever did. I love Bella and the Witch Elm. I mean, no. I didn't love what happened to Bella no. and the Witch Elm, but, but like, I loved the case. Good story, good story. Great story. But this is um, a good story. Juicy, juicy. Yeah, so that's um already a little bit about it. Uh, unfortunately, like that's like the best stuff out of like yeah. it, there was like a lot that goes into it that was kind mm-hmm. of like had other characters, but it was kind of like Betsy um got the worst of it. Like she had marks on her the next morning. The fact that it was so physical, it like the fact that it like it was a pin and mm-hmm. scratches and and then ugh. like the mouth too. Like literally, if stuff starts scratching you, that's a demon, bestie. Mm-hmm. That's not you yeah. Don't be that's not a that. demon, girl. That's, I mean, <laughs> that, that is, is a, a demon, demon girl. girl. Yeah. <laughs> Me gaslighting you. That's not a demon girl. That's not a demon. You're just you're scratching yourself. <laughs> the mark of the beast is on your back. I'm like, you did that to yourself. Again. Come the three on. claw marks again. Stop, stop with the attention. Okay? Come on. <laughs> Grow up. Um, so the fun part mm-hmm. uh is that there have been several films based on the Bell Witch legend, including the Blair Witch Project. Really? The whole thing is based off the Bell Witch. That story. makes so much sense. Right? Wow. Right? Okay. Isn't that wild? Now I need to rewatch it. I'm I'm gonna I this gasped person. when I saw that. When I researched it, I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah. I wasn't a huge fan of that movie, but I only watched it once and I need to watch it. I think I'm just not Blair, a big I'm not a big found so footage good. like the filming style is jarring for me yeah, to watch. Really? Yeah. I was the same with like yeah. Cloverfield. Mm. Like I love Ten Cloverfield Lane. Mm. But the original Cloverfield, it's that same sort of found footagey gotcha. style. I think I just need to adjust to watching it and I'll be fine. But do you know why Blair Witch Project's like so iconic though? Do you know like why like it happened that way? Wasn't it supposed to be like they were filming it as it was happening? Well, or kind of, yeah. So Blair Witch Project came out before the internet was like a big thing and like people understood mm. how, movies or like how production kind of worked for that stuff. So a lot of people thought the Blair Witch Project was a real thing that happened because oh. the beginning of it says that they found someone's recorder footage. Mm-hmm. footage and then put it together to show the public. So a lot of people thought it was real. And that's honestly it would be really creepy because it's like if you were to watch a YouTube video of people showing all this stuff happening and you're like, well, are they dead? Are they... Yeah. 
Yeah. Kind of goes back to the case I did on the clown hysteria stuff. It's like, are yeah. these people doing a stunt? Or is this an like, actual thing? Like, it takes thing? the first people to, like, do something crazy like that for it to become... Yeah. ...horrifying. And the first people, you're like, I don't know if it's real or fake. Right, exactly. But that's creepy that it's based on this. Right. Mm. Um. So, Roger Clark, a former film critic uh, for The Independent, argues that the legend of this has measurable influence on cinema as a whole, such wow. as the Poltergeist film series... Mm -hmm. Um, the found footage paranormal activity films. Love those. The Witch released in 2015 and the trope of burial ground disturbances in the Amityville horror. Hey! And the Apport of Cherries to the Children in Mama released in 2013. So mm. they think that this has played a big influence. When I was wow. reading this, it felt very Amityville. I was mm -hmm. like, I feel like everything yeah. is kind of Amityville well, sometimes. Because like, that was like one of the first crazy cases like that. Yeah. That was, like, fact. Like, it was a real thing. Yeah. Like, it just felt so, like, oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Like, especially, like, the scratches in the bed, like, moving and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, things like that. I was just like, whoa. That's this nuts. Is so and many things. Have you watched the movie The Witch? I haven't seen that. It mentioned it in yeah. this. But I want to watch it. I don't think I've actually seen it. I think maybe I watched it once, but it was a long time it was... ago. I think it was 3 a.m. at a sleepover, to be honest. I feel like I, I need to gone. watch that. Because that's the only one on the list that I was like, wow, I'd really enjoy watching that. Because I've mm -hmm. seen all the paranormal activities. And those freak me the heck out they're a little really? too real for me <laughs> especially like when you see them getting dragged by the stair down the stairs and stuff uh -uh. and i think the scariest uh -huh. paranormal activity i ever watched was the one with the marked ones that Ooh. one mm -hmm. that scene at the end spoiler alert this where there's all those people with like the eyes outside oh my god trauma speaking, speaking of eyes the moon eyed people was also in this too <gasps> oh but gosh. i had to cut it because we did it i was talking about the golems the other day really at work really i don't know what came about why uh -huh. we were talking oh because my friend Corbin has a tattoo of Nosferatu, and he also likes um, golems and things like that. And he was going to get a, one on the other side of his arm that was golems. That's cool. I'm like, you're such a fun little person. Oh, my God. But, See, yeah. History of us golems. working great. Hey. Yeah, so cool. that is all of the cases I have for today oh that are based gosh. on the Appalachian Trail. What's your favorite? Those were very fun. Um, I'm glad you like them, yeah. What do I want to choose? I know. I feel like maybe I do like the idea of the, of the witch yeah. Um, just because I like that in my brain, I'm like, she's a shapeshifter. That like, it's there's an literally... MCU, like a Marvel Cinematic yeah, Universe the, for this witch. There's literally nothing telling us that that's actually what's happening. But like in my brain, I like to create the scenario. Mm. I like that one. I love the idea that the, the lights are could be aliens. Yeah. You know how I, what, I think that's fair. You can do. We can do two. Like yeah. like a short one and a big one. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, I love. I loved all of them. They were just really good. That was so fun. I'm so glad. I really like the witch one, but I think I'm going to pick the gnarly Yao thing. I think that oh, was really yeah. cool, um, especially because we're so close to this area. Mm -hmm. And we, I had no idea that was a cryptid no. that we did ever. No. Um, and then one of the short ones, I think, out of the short ones, I'm going to go back and look for a second, even though like, I just went through one? it. Because there are so many good ones in here. Ooh, I actually like the Appalachian Tunnels a lot. Like, oh, the idea that there's the an underground secret lab oh. full of, like, monsters and stuff. How do I choose my favorite, then? That one is really yeah. cool, too. I guess oh. just Northeast does it best. I don't... We do it best. <laughs> but I will say, yeah. I feel like the most believable, to me, out of all of those, is the tunnels. Yes. Obviously, because there's fact, because there were actual tunnels. There were actual tunnels there, Those yeah. and um, the idea of the snarling yow, just because so many people saw it. I agree. Have seen it in so many different places. Like, yeah. how is that not real? And it's wild, because it kind of goes back to the chupacabras thing, how I was mm -hmm. talking about how, like, chupacabra disease is a real thing, and there are yeah. dogs that snarl like that from, like, rabies or, mm -hmm. like, uh, the chupacabra disease. Yeah. Like, it's just wild. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Very like, cool. Very I'm glad cool. you like this one. I yeah. really wanted to do an Appalachian episode, so I'm glad I was able to find enough content mm -hmm. to actually run a full episode well, on it. Well, you nailed it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, conclusion yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Who's to say what is real and what is not when it comes to the mystery of nature and the whispering winds of the Appalachians? These are secrets we will never fully comprehend in this world, and sometimes they're right in our backyards. <gasps> So think twice before taking a hike by yourself or being underprepared. But all we really do know is that the Appalachian Trail will forever remain a, a mystery. mystery. Yeah. I wrote that one. I was so excited. That was a fun that little was thing. So You're like, if you want to hike alone. <laughs> right in your backyard. Right in your backyard. That <laughs> sounded like um, one of those old outros for like uh, The Haunting or something. A haunting. Ooh, that's me. Yeah. Oh my god. You're literally in the show. Ooh. 
stunning. Thank you guys so much for Yay. watching. Thank you for listening, for watching, and for loving us. Yes. Because we love you the most. This was a great episode. I yes. had so much fun. Yes, so stinking good. Please follow us on Instagram at the Mr. Files underscore. Mm-hmm. Um... On the TikTok at the Mystery Files podcast. Yes, and I'm going to plug something else because we haven't done this before. Yeah. If you guys are listening and if you've listened enough to do it, please rate our podcast yeah. as well. Give us a little rating, five stars, please. please. It really helps with the algorithm yeah. from what I've been told and what I've heard. So if you guys could just leave us a nice little message. That'd mean the world to or us. Or even just say hi, rating. bestie. You know, yeah. You anything crazy, just be like, hey, bestie. Yeah, you could even leave a rating and say what your favorite case was yeah, on this one. We would love real. to hear from you guys. So yes. please reach out whatever streaming service you use to listen mm-hmm. to all your podcasts. Yeah. And we will see you for the season finale of season seven of the yeah. mystery files. I'll be there for be Tiffany's case. Well, you better be. It's your case. <laughs> it's your case. It's you your better case. be there, best. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Good night, guys. Goodbye. Snarl, <sighs> <sighs> y'all. <laughs> Scrappy-dappy-doo. <gasps>